All right, a lot of kids get confused when they start trying to simplify fractions uh, like these that you see here. Let's, let's talk about this, okay? Really think about it. You need to stay with me. Probably the reason you're watching this video is because you're totally confused on these kinds. So let me see if I can help you out. Notice the difference between these two problems. Can you tell that they're different or do they look exactly the same to you? Take a second and look at it. Is this problem the exact same as this problem? Well, no, they're not. Here we have 6 and 15 fifths. Here we have 6 and 5 fifteenths. These two problems you do totally differently from, from each other. These are like, they're not even hardly related that much. Now, I'm making a bigger deal out of it than it really is, but really they're two different problems. 6 and 15 fifths. What's different from this to this is that this one has the numerator is large and the denominator is small in comparison to each other, right? We have the, the head bigger than the butt right there. Is that the case down here? No, this number is smaller than this one. So you need to get it straight in your mind. How do I treat numbers where the head's bigger than the butt? How do I treat fractions here where it's not? Here's the trick, okay? This is a division problem simply a division problem. The division problem is 15 divided by 5. Take the top number, that goes first. Second number goes second. Only when the top number is larger than the bottom number, or if it's the same. They're exactly the same. So 15 divided by 5, what's that equal to? 3. Here's how you show your work on this problem. You copy the whole number, 6, then you write plus whatever this one's equal to, which is equal to 3. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. That's how you show your work. Okay, second kind of problem. Once you've got this down, a lot of kids then are confused and they try to do the same steps when they come to this second type. You cannot do that. This is 5 fifteenths. This is just a regular fraction, only the numbers are not as small as what we want to see them. Okay, we do not copy the 6 over to here. Do not copy the 6. We're simply going to take 5 and 15 and say, what can I divide both of those numbers by? What can I divide a 5 by and also divide a 15 by? Can I divide 5 and 15 by 2? Well, no, neither one of them could be divided by 2. How about 3? No, 4, 5, yeah, 5. Hey, the only number I can divide 5 by is 5. I can divide it by 1, but that's not going to do me any good. I'm going to end up with the exact same fraction again if I divide both of these by 1. All right, so I'm going to divide by the biggest number I can. Divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Then all I do is copy this number next to the fraction, and that's my final answer. See, 6 and 5 fifteenths is equal to 6 and 1 third. Here's how not to do this problem. You don't do it like this. You don't call this 3. That is not equal to 3. 15 fifths is equal to 3, but 5 fifteenths is not equal to 3. It's equal to 1 third. Let me show you one more example of how to do it wrong, okay? Let's take 6 and 4 tenths. All right, how do we not do this problem? We do not do this as 10 divided by 4. No, 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 no. This number is smaller than this one. I have to divide top and bottom by the same number, and in this case I can divide them both by 2, so I get 6 and 2 fifths. Hopefully that clears it up for you. If not, watch it again. If you still can't get it, then ask your teacher for help.